Well, good morning, friends at Bankery West Church. My name is Andy, and I am the Scotland Director for International Justice Mission. And it's been a joy over the years for IJM to partner with Bankery West as a church, and we really appreciate you standing with us in the work of justice. Uh, for those of you who maybe don't know IJM or, or what we do, uh, we are the world's largest international anti-slavery organisation. And really, we are working around the world in response to the faith that we have following God, who is a God of justice, as he calls his church to be a people of justice too. And by God's grace, we have seen tens of thousands of people rescued uh, from issues of slavery and violence since we started. And uh, that has been made possible because people uh, like yourselves at Bankery West have been standing with us in the work. So thank you so much. Um, I'd love to do a couple of things this morning. Uh, firstly, is just to share just a few reflections on a passage of scripture. And then secondly, I'm going to share a brief update uh, on uh, IJM's work uh, in the current situation uh, of coronavirus that we find ourselves in. So firstly, a passage of scripture. Um, before delving into God's words, um, a question for us all. Um, how are you doing? Uh, how are you doing at this moment of time in lockdown? Um, I'm sure if I uh, got feedback on that, we would have a whole range of different answers. And perhaps like me, uh, over the last few weeks, you have been a bit all over the place emotionally. Something I found hugely helpful, uh, but also challenging at this time, uh, is a passage of scripture in the book of Romans. Uh, now, this is just one verse of Romans, and that is Romans 12, verse 12. And in this one verse, it's made up of 10 words. And these are words uh, that are packed with both challenge and hope. And they are words that have helped me navigate the last few weeks. So Roman, Romans 12, 12 says this, be joyful in hope, be patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. A friend of mine uh, asked me a question uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it was this, how has lockdown impacted your faith? Now my bumbling answer at the time I'm sure did not do justice uh, to what God has been speaking to me uh, over this time. Uh, but, but, but with the benefit of time since that question, I've managed to, to gather thoughts a little bit more. And I think my first response uh, in lockdown was more of a question. It was more of a question of why. And um, why, God, is this happening in our world? And I think that question coincided with feelings of anxiety that I had too. Um, and I'm someone who's uh, fortunately never really struggled with anxiety, but this was something that, that hit me hard at the start of lockdown. And the more I pondered this, the more I asked this question of why. Um, I realised that our role as Christians was not to answer that question in a very squeaky clean way, but instead our role at times of trial uh, is to lament alongside God, who is a suffering God. Our role is to lament and act in a way that seeks to um, put others before ourselves. And our role is to lament and trust in who God is at a time of uncertainty. Now, lament in popular language or in the language of the world um, is somewhat limited and is somewhat hopeless. Um, it's often narrowly defined as a synonym of grieving or grumbling. 
Um, yeah, if you look at the Bible, um, lament is a crying out to God that is characterised by a hopeful expression of trust in the character, the power and the grace of God. It's a lament whereby we offer our faith in God despite the circumstances and we offer ourselves for God to use to answer our own cry. Um, So God has been speaking a lot to me about the role of lament and he's also been speaking a lot to me about the role of prayer at this time. And of course lament is a form of prayer uh, in itself but I've sensed during lockdown a call for God's people and for me to engage with God at a deeper level in prayer. Prayer provides a way for us to voice questions and concerns. But importantly, prayer also provides an opportunity for God to minister to us and to speak into those concerns and to those worries as well. So at this strange time, in the words of Romans 12, 12, let us be a people who are joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. And may our prayers be enlivened not only by the pain that we're feeling, but also by the joy that comes from knowing God and who he is. Amen.